That's as close as you guys can come. Okay. okay. I'll get closer and I'll take oh. you. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. You guys, there's some stinky morning breath going on in this. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. School's over. CC's over. And before we resume our regularly scheduled school work, school? Nobody said anything about school. We're going to take the next three days off of our school. Today is a national holiday. It is called D E A R Deer. It stands for something. Today is Beverly Cleary's birthday. She's over a hundred years old, I think. I think a hundred and one. And the girls got to guess what deer was. And yesterday, with a little help, they figured out that today is drop everything and read. So there were some tears. There were some threats of running away. There was some threats of wanting to end life as we know it. It's the end of the world but, as we know it. Anna, show me, just with your face, put your head up, just with your face, how do you feel about deer today? Okay, and how do you feel about, oh, look at that. So, I told them that we would start the day off with me reading to them in their bed before they even get out of their bunk bed. So, we read Shel Silverstein's, um, like, six of his poems. And we love that. Now we've each picked a book from the library. Mine is Princesses. Mine is Lemony Snicket. He has a picture book, so that's really cool. Picture and it's book. Down. <laughs> and Anna's show the cover. So we're getting ready to read to each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm going first. And then we'll let you know how the rest of the day goes in a minute. But first, we have to read. They're very anxious to go. A hockey player wants an autograph to fans already been grilled cheese sandwich. Gross. A Slovenian man cycled Slavian. Slavian man cycled more than 561 miles in 24 hours. Whoa. That's like biking more than 21 marathons in one day. His muscles must have felt like jelly by the end of that. <laughs> Base jumper Lo Lonnie Bissonetti's Good job. wheelchair has its own parachute. Whoa. So before Lydia reads it, I want you guys to just see quite how thick this book is. It's hardback. Give it a good knock. And oh, we'll come back to that page. Okay, you have to find it. She's about to finish The Little Mermaid, and this book has 200, 200 and almost 240 pages, mm -hmm. and she's on page 50, oh, don't look at that one, 51. Okay, ready, go. I already read it. Oh, I thought you were going to read to us. I was. I'm going to read oh, the article. Oh, you're on the next page. Okay. But Ariel was still a mermaid. And Eric would always be a human. King Triton realized how much Ariel and Eric loved each other. Other with a sing here. With Let's try it with a long eye. With a I'm with a sigh. Chuck, he touched his truck to do what? And Ariel became a human. Once again, King Triton smiled happily. As he 
watched Ariel return. Hold on, re. Re. You. Unite with Ariel. Next for our dear day, as we're eating our cold pizza, don't judge me, I still don't feel well today. Um, we're going through their reading charts and going through prizes. So we're updating Lydia's. She brought me her stack and we're gonna see if anyone gets a prize today too. Okay, we've also updated the shelf. Lydia has her own shelf. These are all the books she has read. So she's just a little bit away from filling up this shelf. She didn't read that one. That's just our book holder, our book end. And then here's Anna's. I think we go to right here for hers. So chapter books take longer and we know that it's not a race, but we are filling up a shelf. Okay, Lydia, where are we? We are at Barnes and Nobles. Why? Because I read got, 100 they books. Got, they got a train, okay. too. Why are we here? Because I read 100 books. And what's your prize? My own book. Baby Mouse? Queen, Queen of, of the World. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm about to check it out. Oh, you're about to buy it forever and ever. You need to keep it. And it's looking at this. Mommy, this one is broken. It's broken. Yeah, I got fixed it. Okay. Okay, we're at the homeschool store. There it is. This place is really cool. Celebrating deer today, we're starting something new in our family. Every month, the kids are going to get a book allowance. Lydia, how much is your book allowance? Show. Five dollars. Five dollars. And they can go buy whatever used book they want from this homeschool store. And um, they get to put their name in it. They get to add it to their shelf. And they're going to start their collection. So, five dollars every month. So, we're going to go see, check out their used book section and see what we can get. Happy Deer Day! I found a Lego book. Lego book, cool. Oh, God bless you. Are you finding anything interesting? So we just um, went to the store, uh, the um, used book store, and so I bought, let me find the book, this little book called Princess from Puppy Place, because I really, I because of Rev, and I really like Yorkie Terriers, but then I, the next book I really want is, um, like how to take care of your dog because I, I think I need to teach Revel a few tricks. I mean like sure he knows Paul but I think he needs to know more like training. Well you haven't heard much out of me for the last week. As you can tell I've been busier than I've ever been. Actually I'm supposed to be doing a Facebook live video here um, that I haven't even gotten done. I said I was gonna get done within 24 hours and I've already gone a week but I have been slammed folks. We got new clients coming on PKS, my main client, just has gotten to the happy place, so I'm getting ready to pass them off, so I'll be taking on a new client to onboard very soon. We've got a security client coming on. I've got to write a contract for that. I've got work to do for the church. I've got the Easter sermon to complete, and I've got to get my taxes off. I didn't even get my taxes off yet. Well, I got my, you know, that last batch of amended stuff for the last two years. I had to amend it again, so I'm sending off this year's in my amendments to the last years again who has that much change in no time my life is so insane so i've got to do that then i gotta pay my taxes which i don't mind doing i just gotta get that done anybody out there that's a consultant you know what that's like if you're a consultant out there and you have random income how do you deal with your estimated income taxes it's very insane so i always end up owing 
um, you know, more in the year. Anyways, so I got to work through that, and I've just got a million other things. I'm so sorry I haven't been on here a lot, but guys, I've just tried my best to keep my head above water, keep projects going forward, make it through tax season with our CPA clients, do church, roll out new programs at the church, and um, and keep going. Meeting after meeting, call after call, it's crazy. What you guys don't see here is if I'm on my porch or if I'm in this truck, I'm taking calls. I'm on, on Slack and messaging and email. I'm constantly managing processes. And so um, every day goes so fast before, you know, it, it's just, it's gone before no time. And then the next thing I know, it's one in the morning again. And I'm like, why am I not asleep yet? So um, I'm doing better. My sleep is better. My allergies are better. Everything's going better. But I am just slammed. After the 18th, when I go and do the whiteboard meeting in DC with one of our clients and I get through that DC trip that's coming up next week and I get through Easter, things slow down. So that's my great uh, hope. And so um, I've got three or four big things to do today. So y'all go with me. I'll try to take you with me. I'm sorry if, if you don't make it with me. I know you didn't see this morning. I had my conference call in my closet office, had to do all my work, my taxes stuff, work on this next contract, another conference call. Now I'm in the truck. I hadn't even eaten lunch. I guess I'm going to fast today. There you go. We made it home. I took a shower. The girls did their piano practice. Malachi is in bed taking a nap. Dustin smiling. Our taxes. Oh my goodness. What a huge relief that is. And as promised, as part of our dear day, we're dropping everything and we're reading outside. We have buttered popcorn, we have cinnamon popcorn, we have sour green candy in the middle, and I'll show you the books we picked for outside reading. Rambezas and Ramona, the first one in the Ramona series. It's by Beverly Cleary. Today's her 101st birthday. Is that crazy? Mm -hmm. So this is what I read growing up all the time, and so this is the girl's introduction to it. They've heard a little bit of it, but today we're gonna go full force and then it's on a fourth grade reading level so that's great and I've never read my kids all the nursery rhymes so we're gonna start reading some nursery rhymes my Mima read these to me I remember that so anyways we're gonna do a couple of those today and eat some popcorn sound good and candy and candy. The candy is sour. It is. I forgot to even say this today. I'm, or at this point of the day, I've been on a dozen phone calls. I've had a million different issues to clean up for team members. I had to deal with uh, milling off all the taxes and amended returns. Now I'm at Starbucks. I've just finished um, work for one client. I'm working on another client right now. Um, got a piece of work for um, a welcome letter for the church and I've got a booklet to do I need to figure out and finish up my Easter sermon and then after all of that I've still got to go pick up everything for it from Lowe's busy day so this has been busy week because it's tax week but we're getting there we're getting there clients lighten up soon you don't exchange you just slip it under up with the thumb and the three comes over. Three. Eight. Now watch my hand again. Make sure you know your numbers. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Try it again. Do it with me.
been listening to Henry and Bees's audiobook. We're on chapter seven, which means we've spent a lot of time in the car today. The where we had to go to Barnes and Noble and all that. It was a it's a good drive from our house. Oh, Papa. Um, we got Hello, some KFC popcorn chicken, some potato wedges, some applesauce, and coleslaw for dinner. I got four waters, so we're gonna drink our water, and then I got a little half gallon of lemonade, which I figured was cheaper than getting four lemonades. So I think I saved a penny at least. <laughs> Poppy's gonna finish up his work shortly and come join us. And we're gonna just play, and I might even start reading another chapter they while they play. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so I have my time at Starbucks. Now I'm heading on down the road. I'm uh, heading to church because I got a prayer meeting. I'm still not finished with my Easter thing, and I'm not finished with um, everything from uh, work. But I got a lot of the work done, and um, I've still got a little bit to do on the essentials book for our new class. The good news is. I got a surprise coming to all you guys. Now that part I did get done, and um, it's really exciting because it's gonna be a surprise for you guys. And then there's another one I'm doing, it's a surprise to the New Life crowd. So anyways, get ready folks. I am so excited to get this stuff moving forward, and I can't wait to unveil my surprise I've been working on. Very cool. You don't want to get on my bed? No. Do you want to go to your bed? Okay. So Malachi fell asleep in the car on the way home from church. And Mommy left church early tonight. Poppy's still there. And we finished our story, Henry and Beezus. Spoiler alert. Henry. We didn't finish it. Yeah. We Okay, spoiler alert, Henry got his bicycle. I don't say yes. Okay. I say no first. Okay. We didn't finish it. Tomorrow we have a big day planned. No school. I want school. <laughs> I do. I think he's just going to say opposite of everything that I say right now. No. <laughs> So we're just gonna end it's it right not now. Funny. I'm not feeling great. So girl. <laughs> Today's opposite day. No. <laughs> Today was seriously it was our dear day and what a great day it was. And so I, I don't got no pants on me. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have pants on. But he's under the cover. Do you mind pants? No, we're not going to show your diaper. No, that's not nice. Can you end and say, don't forget? No, I don't want to say Okay, that. Well, Mommy's going to say it. Don't forget, put your family second and Jesus... Bugger. <laughs> no, Jesus first. Bugger. Good night. Well, for those of you who remember it, I just put my old brick from the prayer house in Kensington, Maryland 
I just put it on my shelf here in my office. I am praying for the presents to come heavy again. Well, I'm heading back. It's been a crazy night. Uh, we just finished prayer meeting and um, I've still got a couple more things to do. I may do them tonight. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll go with the family to Dan Nichols Park in Salisbury, North Carolina. And we'll hang out. It'll be fun. I've got, um, I'll probably have to take my work with me and do it on the road because just so much going on with tax week and stuff for church. But we're getting there. Anyway, I got to go home and crash. Prayer meeting was powerful, you guys. For those who were there till the end, all I want to say is, is wow, that, that was intense. I've recovered now but it's like 10 something at night. It took me a long time. That's a long story. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for praying for me. New life prayer, crazy people. Um, I'm looking to Easter Sunday. Come on, Jesus. Let's see what God does. laughing because no one ever believes me when this crap happens but oh, I've had a really long day <laughs> I'm exhausted as all get out I'm freaking telling her a story and I'm talking about demonics and I'm like name of Jesus da, 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 da. and I was like don't screw me over buttons this freak comes on by itself without me saying anything it says sorry it recorded me saying please hear me screw with me over buttons I said Actually, please hear me. Don't screw with me over buttons. But then she says, sorry, I couldn't find screw with me over buttons in your music. I didn't talk about music. I didn't talk about Siri. And this is freaking crazy when I didn't touch it. And it's on Do Not Disturb. What the heck? Demons. So I got up and said, stop in the name of Jesus. Anyway. I think it's interesting that it took out the word don't. Yeah. Just, please screw with me over buttons and... You said it to God, though. It did. Demon. <laughs> <laughs>